the things I do for the reading rush. I actually turned off my fan, but I'm not closing the window. So if you hear kids yelling, it's because they're playing cricket outside, bless them. Hi guys, I'm Shelley. Welcome back to my channel. And day three of the reading rush. And pretty much day three of this frigging heat wave. Saying that, I got a lot of reading done last night. Because it was so hot, there was no way that I was sleeping. So I managed to pretty much read in one go, Trouble by Non Pratt, which covers the challenge of the author's first novel and also reading it in the same space because I was on my sofa all night, it was too hot in my bedroom. So today's video challenge was to cook, gather snacks, prepare a meal that was linked to a book. So something that they do in a book, if they make cookies, you would bake cookies and so on and so forth. I cannot cook right now. I'm not turning that oven on for anybody. Zip! But I did have an idea, and that is that I'm currently reading The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and this is a post-apocalyptic world. Apocalyptic? Is that a word? There are aliens. They've taken over the human race. There are little pockets of humans here, there, and everywhere. Now and again, they have to go on a raid and get some food. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, non-binary, and for those of you yet to decide, I give you American snacks. So I went to my local supermarket or store and went to the world food section and bought all of the snacks that are in the host. There's a lot of junk food around me right now. <laughs> Basically, this is what I got. So in the book, there is, mm, I'd say a good like three or four pages, literally just describing Cheetos. At one point, the whole camp get very excited because Hershey bars turn up. There's also a lot of conversation about red vines. <laughs> I think at some point they mention Gatorade, this this blue concoction which, to be honest, is scaring the hell out of me. And then what would a post-apocalyptic world be without... without... Twinkies? So... that happened. So now I have a rather large collection of American snacks that I can bribe my friends to come see me with. Somebody's gonna have a sugar rush next time they come round. I'm on track to hopefully finish this reading rush, except for the fact I haven't read seven books and I don't think I'm gonna make it to seven. I sort of attempted to go to the library and just camp out in the children's section and just binge through a couple of children's books and then I've made it to seven. We, we shall see what happens. Anyway I hope you guys are good, I can't wait to see your challenge videos and see what meals or snacks that you gather and I will see you guys tomorrow if I haven't melted by then. Bye. I forgot Oreos. How could I possibly forget the yumminess of Oreos? They're the most American snack you can get.